Hepatitis B, as a distinct disease, was first identified in the 1940s by Dr. Baruch Blumberg. However, it wasn't until 1965 that Dr. Blumberg, along with his colleague Dr. Irving Millman, discovered the actual virus causing hepatitis B. This discovery was a significant milestone in medical science, as it led to the development of diagnostic tests and the hepatitis B vaccine, greatly improving the ability to prevent and manage the disease. The identification of the hepatitis B virus, HBV, was a turning point in understanding and treating viral hepatitis. Before this discovery, the differentiation between hepatitis caused by different viruses was not clear. Blumberg's work in identifying the Australian antigen, later known as the hepatitis B surface antigen, or HBSAG, was crucial in this process. For his groundbreaking work in this field, Dr. Blumberg was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1976. Hepatitis B, a viral infection that primarily affects the liver, is caused by the hepatitis B virus, HBV, and transmitted through contact with infected bodily fluids. The most common routes of transmission include mother-to-child transmission during childbirth if the mother is infected, blood-to-blood -blood contact through blood transfusions, sharing needles or syringes, and medical or dental interventions without proper sterilization of equipment. It can also be spread through unprotected sexual intercourse with an infected person, which is a common mode of transmission, particularly in areas where the prevalence of HBV is low to intermediate. Shared personal items like razors or toothbrushes that may have traces of blood can be a source of infection, and occupational exposure is a risk for healthcare workers who come into contact with blood or bodily fluids. Additionally, getting a piercing or tattoo with non-sterile equipment can transmit the virus. Preventing hepatitis B involves taking precautions such as vaccination, using protective barriers during sexual activity, avoiding sharing needles or personal items, and adhering to safety protocols in healthcare settings. The hepatitis B vaccine is highly effective and is the best way to prevent the disease, typically being part of routine childhood vaccination programs in many countries. Hepatitis B is an infection of the liver caused by the hepatitis B virus, HBV, which can lead to a range of symptoms. Some people, especially young children, may not exhibit any symptoms at all. However, when symptoms do occur, they can include jaundice, characterized by yellowing of the skin and eyes, indicating liver dysfunction. Fatigue or chronic tiredness is another common symptom, along with abdominal pain or discomfort, particularly in the area of the liver. A loss of appetite, often accompanied by nausea and vomiting, can also occur. Other symptoms may include a mild fever, dark urine, pale-colored stool, joint pain, and general muscle soreness. It's important to note that symptoms of hepatitis B may not appear until one to four months after exposure to the virus. In some cases, particularly in chronic hepatitis B, symptoms may not be noticeable at all. Chronic hepatitis B can lead to more serious health issues like liver cirrhosis, liver failure, or liver cancer over time. Therefore, screening for HBV is crucial, especially in individuals at high risk or in areas with a higher prevalence of the virus. Consulting a healthcare provider for appropriate testing and guidance is advisable if you suspect you might have been exposed to hepatitis B or are experiencing symptoms. Treatment for hepatitis B depends on whether the infection is acute or chronic. For acute hepatitis B, which often resolves on its own, treatment mainly involves supportive care. This includes adequate rest, maintaining a healthy diet, staying hydrated, and avoiding alcohol and any substances that can harm the liver. In most cases, no specific antiviral treatment is required for acute hepatitis B. Chronic hepatitis B, however, may require long-term or even lifelong treatment. The goal is to reduce the risk of liver disease and prevent the virus from spreading to others. Antiviral medications are the mainstay of treatment for chronic hepatitis B. These drugs, such as tenofovir and entecovir, can effectively suppress the virus, slowing the progression of liver disease and reducing the risk of liver cancer. However, these medications may not cure hepatitis B and are often needed for extended periods. In addition to medication, regular monitoring is crucial to assess liver function, the state of the virus, and the health of the liver. This monitoring often includes blood tests and liver ultrasounds.
For those with severe liver damage or liver failure due to chronic hepatitis B, a liver transplant may be considered. In such cases, the diseased liver is replaced with a healthy liver, usually from a deceased donor. It's also important to prevent the spread of hepatitis B vaccination is the most effective way to prevent hepatitis B infection. Other preventive measures include practicing safe sex, using clean needles, and avoiding sharing personal items like razors or toothbrushes that could be contaminated with blood. As with any medical condition, treatment and management of hepatitis B should be under the guidance of a healthcare professional. They can provide personalized advice based on the individual's health status and the specifics of their condition.